One thing I don't do enough of on this channel is document just how good of a place it is here on the Gold Coast. I've been born and raised here and I absolutely love it. So I really wanna start documenting that a little bit more on this channel. Going out for a coffee in the morning, it's something I always love to go and do and especially out there by the beach. It's just one of the best places in the world. Um, I've had a pretty good morning to start the day and to start this episode. I've been able to pick up a Sega Mega Drive console uh, off Facebook Marketplace. I've picked this up for just $75 and I've actually picked it up in a suburb that I wanted to go out thrifting in today as well. So it's just been able to work out perfectly. Uh, $75 got in quick for this one because the comps are over $200 on eBay. So this has been a really good get. I'm going to list this up right now before we get started on this episode. And fingers crossed, you just never know, we might get a sale before the episode ends. Um, I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, we're going to go to four new op shops today, op shops that I've never been to before. And I'm pretty excited about that because I've been going to the same op shops so many times now that you almost get a bit of a feel for what you're going to go and find. I just wanna try something new and I wanna bring that to you as well in today's episode. So let's get into the first one. It is nine o'clock, we better get started. I am looking forward to it, hope you are too. Let's get moving. Stop the music. Not too bad of a first op shop of the day, guys. There were a few good things in there. It slowly got better and better the more time that I spent in there. Um, there was a brand that I found for the very first time and I did some comp research while I was in there and they were popping up with some really good numbers. So I'll bring it to you today and let you know about it. It is the Villains of Virtue. Be on the lookout for this brand, guys. Um, there it is there, Villains of Virtue. Now, the comps, like I mentioned, they were going very, very strong. Um, even for used pairs, uh, these are just, a, I think they're a 90% cotton. They're an elastic waist. There's no, it's not denim or anything, but the color pattern, I mean, the acid wash kind of looks really cool. And there was a black pair as well. This one had some zippers and uh, had a couple of holes in it as well, a couple of tears. So they looked really cool. They caught my eye. And then when I did a comp search on the brand, the brand was actually selling pretty well on eBay. So I've gone ahead and grabbed these and I've just spent $8 each, so $16 in. And I reckon I could probably get about 60 bucks for the two of them. So I'm gonna shoot for about 30 bucks plus postage and just see how we go. But two pairs of those, um, Villains of Virtue, I'm gonna to start to look for it. So definitely keep an eye out for that brand. Um, I also found a brand that we all know and love, and that was Levi Strauss. And whenever I find Levi Strauss, I'll always grab it. These are some 502s. Uh, they were 32 waist, 34 length, so pretty good size, um, $8. So when I find Levi for eight bucks, I'll always grab Levi Strauss jeans. These are in very good condition. You'll make 25 to $30. I'll do some proper comp searching. And then this one was a really, really cool find. It was a denim shirt, um, but it had embroidery and tags for Hard Rock Cafe. Not only Hard Rock Cafe, but Hard Rock Cafe Banff, Canada Banff. Now, I love Canada. I've spent a few years snowboarding and I do know how much of a great place Banff is. Um, and these were, this was really cool because this was a, an extra large. It was fully genuine, authentic. You can see there, it's got Hard Rock Cafe, Banff, extra large. Um, so that's gonna go on to sell very, very well. There wasn't too many comps here in Australia for this sort of thing. But I do know that Hard Rock Cafe t-shirts sell very well. I think anything with the Hard Rock branding is gonna go okay. So I've grabbed this. I'm gonna try and make about 50 bucks on it. I, I, might, I might be too overpriced, I'm not sure, but I think something like this could be a really cool collector's item for any Aussie that's gone over to Banff and done some snowboarding or spent some awesome time there in the summertime. So I've grabbed that as well. Couldn't pass up on that for just six bucks um, in really what was 
not a lot of opportunity in that first stop shop, but we've come away with four really cool items, and I think there's gonna be some money made in those. So, not too far away from the second op shop. Let's keep moving, and fingers crossed we can buy a couple more items than the four we've found here, and start building up this day. Guys, what a great result, op shop number two. I need to get some aircon on first, hold on. So op shop number two pays to have a look at the video games because I've always been unlucky when it comes to video games in op shops. I just never seem to find any good ones. And what I mean by good ones is I sort of class a good um, sort of thrifted video game as anything $20 plus you generally pay three to four dollars in the op shop everything in the op shop today in the one that i was just in was four dollars each per game so the way i went about it was i comped every single video game in there i was spent probably an hour and a half in there all up and i was mainly on the video games in this in this run so i've ended up picking up uh 12 12 games and i think i probably would have comped maybe uh i don't know maybe about 40 or 50 games it was unbelievable the fact that there was actually even 50 games in there to pick from which is never the case you've normally only got two or three to pick from at least in the op shops around my area now i won't take you through every single one of these games um, i tried to show you a few of them in that clip before but every game here comps for over 20 dollars so when you take off the four dollars let's just roughly say i've made 15 dollars per game um, so 15 bucks a game and i've got 12 games that's 180 dollars worth of profit uh, to be made because they all go for over 20 but some of them i think minecraft was worth about 45. i'll put up a few comps here for you to have a look at throughout this chat but ultimately there will be over 200 dollars made just on these video games alone the 12 of them uh, all the others comped under 15 dollars so i said no to those um, but sometimes you've just got to put in the time and the effort to sort of just sift through what they've got available um, don't just sort of go really quick on it or think you can just buy the lot and you'll make profit on it all you've got to pick out the ones where you can make some money so i was really happy to find 12. Uh, i also found some really cool cds i found a neil diamond uh, jazz singer cd i found a pendulum immersion uh, CD as well, pretty cool band, and Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication. If that doesn't sell for $10 plus, I'm keeping it because I'm a huge Peppers fan. Um, so that's three of those. So that was everything in sort of the CDs and the games, and geez, it was quite a bit of time spent. I did find some clothing items as well, and there was a couple of brands in here that I really wanted to show you in today's episode because I haven't found it too much, but I personally love this brand, and I really wanted to show you it so you can go out and find it. Deus, I'll put it up a bit closer, there it is there. It's Deus Ex Machina. Um, so Deus Ex Machina goes on to sell incredibly well. Um, to be honest, I just love the brand so much. I didn't bother with the comp research, so hopefully there's a good comp that I can put up for you here. But I think these shorts, I'd be able to make maybe 25 to $30, I'd, I'd like to say, because they are in great condition. I did pay $8 for them, but it is a very good brand and one to keep an eye out for. So that was a cool one. I also found some Timberland shorts, just some cargo shorts, but Timberland, 
is a really, really good brand as well. So uh, that's this one here that you would have seen in the little clip before, but there it is there, Timberland. So I generally like to buy Timberland pants. I think they're a really great brand to resell. Um, so to find a pair of shorts, happy with that. And then I also found for $10, a little bit more, but a really nice pair of Kathmandu hiking pants. And now the hiking pants where you can actually take off um, the zip as well. So it can be a short and it can be a long. Um, so a really cool pair of pants, these ones. They would go retail for quite a bit. I'd say almost over $100, just at a guess. And they're a Kathmandu size extra large as well. So we've absolutely struck gold with these Kathmandu's. And we've also found a couple of other pairs of shorts as well in the Dais and the Timberland. So look, some, some good money spent. I mean, $4 per game, that's about 50 bucks worth of games but they'll comp out at about $250 for 200 profit. Uh, these CDs, I'm assuming they're all gonna work out to be about a $15 plus, uh, including postage sale. So that's maybe $50 to $60 worth of CDs. And then I reckon there's about $100 all up in that. So that op shop has just come through unbelievably well. And I'm really, really wrapped because you put in the time and the effort in these sort of places and you will pull out some pretty good results. So I'm stoked that we've been able to do that with op shop number two. Let's keep moving because I'm in a very good mood after that run. Don't you love it when you get a good op shop run? Um, and we'll move on to op shop number three. Um, I will stop for lunch actually because I am starving, but uh, we'll jump into op shop number three. That's where I'll take you with the camera now and we'll, uh, we'll get stuck into some more goodies, hopefully. Shot number three, all done and dusted, guys, and uh, it wasn't the greatest, to be fair. Couldn't really find too much in it. It's amazing how you can go into one op shop and you can find absolutely everything, and then you go into the very next one and you find nothing. Well, I can't say nothing, though, because I did find one thing, and I will show you it. It was right at the end. Uh, I spied the Blu-ray player, and uh, it did come with the remote as well, and I'm always baffled by how much the remotes are actually worth on these things. Not just the Blu-ray players, but just remotes in general, but they can be worth quite a few dollars. Uh, I think this one's worth about $20 alone. And uh, I've paid $15 for this entire thing, and I did see some comps on eBay for about $90 for this model. I believe it was new though, so I don't think I'm gonna get the full $90 for this one. Uh, but if I can get $50, $60 uh, off a $15 purchase, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll always pick up these electronics. It does have a week's warranty, so I will give it a test like you should with everything you buy in the electronic space um, to make sure it works and uh, if it is all good to go then we'll get this up for about 50 or 60 so not a bad little flip uh, but geez I couldn't find anything no clothes no shoes nothing it was um, it was a pretty quiet op shop that one but that's okay we had a really good op shop number two and um, we have found one thing in there so that was not too bad uh, let's move on op shop number four I'm feeling pretty good about it I think we could finish on a really good note so let's jump straight into it roll the music let's start it Okay guys, uh, op shop number four, we are done for the day. I've finished up, I've got everything. Um, feeling pretty good about that last one. It was more of a mini clothing haul than anything. Uh, I don't know where to start here and I will kind of go through it pretty quick. I just want to show you what I'm buying. 
Uh, but without going into too much detail, I thought this Apple t-shirt was pretty cool. Um, so there it is there. I, I don't know, I, I just, I personally, the way I shopped in this op shop was, would I buy it for $15, $20 plus? Um, you know, and that, I'd, I'd pay $15, $20, would you? Let me know in the comments. Oh, I just thought that was pretty cool. It's got a little Apple on the back as well. Um, the logo on this, or the logo, the tag I should say, it says the Phantom. Um, could be, a, I don't know what that means, but it says the Phantom. It says size extra large and I paid $5. So thanks very much, I'll take that one. Um, I also found, this was a nice one. This was a Liverpool Football Club. So. Liverpool, I had the number 11 on it too, and it was the Warrior branding. I think this was back in 2003 or 2004 from the looks of the tags. I've paid $5 for it, um, but I do like to collect this sort of soccer merchandise. It does go on to sell pretty well, and when you've got you know teams like Liverpool, uh, that should sell for maybe $25, I'm thinking. Believe it or not, that actually goes for some money. Uh, I found a, a brand that I absolutely love, a quality, quality brand, and it is Burton uh, in the winter range, um, in the snowboarding winter range. So Burton T there, this is a great brand, guys. If you've never heard of Burton, if you're not into your winter sports, keep an eye out for this because they if you walked into a Burton store and tried to buy that, you'd pay $45. It's ridiculous what Burton Burton merchandise actually you know costs. Um, here's another one here. I found I actually found three, I believe, all up. That's a nice one. I really like that. Pity it doesn't fit me. Um, but that one was a good one. And then there was one other. There was one other somewhere. I bought three of them and there were five each. Um, I found a G-Star button up. I do love G-Star. Whenever I find it, I buy it. So there it is there. It's a G-Star Extra Large. That looks pretty cool. Maybe I could even wear that. Do you reckon I'd look any good in that? Yeah, probably not. All right, um, so maybe I'll just sell that one. Um, extra Large. Uh, I found another soccer jersey. These are fakes, guys. Like I say, I buy the fakes and I do go on to sell them for a good $25 to $30. So hopefully that's the case with this one here. It doesn't have anything on the back of it. You always get a bit more when it's got something on the back, like a number or a name or something. But um, that one was a good little buy. I bought this for me. I think this is my Christmas Day shirt, guys. Um, Merry Christmas to you all out there. Uh, this one's an extra large, my size. And Zanarobe is a fantastic brand. I love wearing Zanarobe. And I thought that pattern was really cool. Look at that. That's a pretty cool pattern. That would actually go well on me. That's why I bought it. Um, so I'll be wearing this one on Christmas Day. That one won't be sold. I might wear it Christmas Day and then sell it. So I'll just about do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode today. A few little goodies and we'll hopefully go on to sell them for some pretty good money. Hey, Merry Christmas for the next few days. Enjoy the holiday period. Enjoy Christmas Day. Eat a lot of food. Jeez, I'm going to eat a lot of food. That's for sure. I just... Oh can't wait for Christmas Day. Um, have fun. Enjoy it. Spend it with your family and your friends and uh, keep on listing because the sales will come back before we know it. I know they're slow over this period around Christmas, but they will be back. So keep your listings going strong. Um, enjoy it. Thanks very much for your uh, support. It's been uh, incredibly appreciative over these last few months since I've kicked off this channel. I will bring you a what sold video on Sunday. I'm not selling a hell of a lot at the moment, so it's not going to be uh, not going to be too many dollars made, but um, I'm going to still bring it because I can't not do a what sold episode. I have to do it each and every week and uh, I'll bring you the numbers as they are. So um, we'll see you then. We'll see you Sunday after Christmas and um, enjoy it. Thanks very much. We'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and that Sega console game that I bought at the start of the day hasn't sold.